NTV. The campaign season is fully underway as politicians are galvanizing support to secure nomination under various platforms. Many are still trying to find out how campaigns will be conducted. Now, this week we started with the party leadership positions in the NRM, and yesterday we looked at the parliamentary race. Today we look at the local government races, specifically the LC3 race in Lubag Division. I'll call it the mayors. To share with us these views is the DP aspirant for Lubaga Division, chairperson that is Zake Mbedaze Mawula. Good morning. It's great to have you this early morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Um, to start with, um, how are things going on on the campaign trail? How is the ground holding up? Uh, the ground is not yet charged, fully charged mm. because of the way campaigns are being carried on. But you see, you're coming from DP, but your yes. tie is red. Uh, Engage me on <laughs> that. No, uh, you see, we, there is what we call uh, the post power. Okay. The power belongs to the people, mm. and the color is red for the, the for that uh, for that organization. Okay. People's power. You see, DP and people, you can't separate the two. People's power. Mm. Yes. We ran it recently, and it turned into a national unity platform. No, uh, there were people's power is different from the party itself. These are two different entities. That's why the, the pressure group is still there, people power, and the party is there. On quote, Bobby yes. Wine, two yeah. weeks ago, he said you're either with the NUP or you're not with people power, so you won't get my endorsement. What we're looking at is the system of change. What is coming up that peop DP is coming to collaborate with the people's uh, NAP, that is National Unity Platform, to see how we can move. The, because all, all of us are working for change. We are want to ch have change is there an from one generation to another generation. Is there an alliance between DP and NAP? The party president and our party uh, officials are working along, along that. Okay. Look at the, um, that line. Yeah. Talk to us some detail. Why are you opting to run as the division chairperson? And what makes you think that you're the best candidate for this particular one? Here? Yeah, according to, okay, generation gap. Mm. I think I'm the best candidate because I have a, I have a manifesto towards that to see how I can improve the livelihood of my people in the division mm. and to, do, to work on a number of sectors which are poorly, in, which are in a poor state. Sectors like? Like uh, we have the healthy sector mm. within the division. We have the issue of the infrastructure, like the roads. Mm. We have the issue of the drainage. Mm. Then we have also the issue of the youth, which hasn't been uh, worked on well, and the youth are so unemployed. So those are the main issues which I'm trying to look into I to see that I can um, uh, um, improve uh, well my, the division. That sounds quite um, mm. impressive. If you could indulge me with regards to health, how bad is the health sector with regards to Lubaga Division in terms of statistics or with regards to the health center three and two, um, a ratio of, uh, of a patient to the nurses or the doctors there? You see, we have now in Lubaga Division, mm. we, we only have two hospitals mm. or two health centers mm. under the Kampala Capital City Authority. Mm. We have one in Kawala mm. and one in Chitebi. And these are two different constituencies. Mm -hmm. Compared to the population in the division, you can't have the only two because the people who are in Busega and Chitebi is far from Busega. So mm. a patient to move from Busega to, to Chitebi is really mm. there's a big gap. Mm. Also, you find the, in a, there is, we have Kalubia and mm. Kawala, which is in Kasubi, next to Kasubi. It's really far. So mm. we want, I want to I decrease on the, on the distance in between, mm. whereby I put up a hospital in Lubia and also a hospital in Busega. Each mm. division should have about at least two hospitals. How are you achieving this? No, we I have to lobby from the government. Okay. I'll lobby and I know and uh, other partners from all over the world mm. to come and we get in, we make a partnership and see how I can help our people on the ground. Do you believe mm. local government is a place to make realistic change in relation to social economic progress? Yes, yes. Oh. Because now, uh, it depends how you collaborate the two. Mm. The government has the money, but mm. how do you get it from there? Mm. And also the other partner cities around the world mm. which, who want to work with other cities, mm. other, other municipalities. We make collaboration and partnerships and then they come up and help our people down the ground. Mm. Yeah, because if you don't uh, get in touch with these other partners and the government also has I minimal expenditures mm. and monies to bring on board. So what you do, you have to work with other organizations abroad, mm. make partnerships, they come and help your people. Well, th th there's mm. always been a thought that the cost of administration is really a drain to the economy and the funds spent there should instead be spent on specific sectors like health, education, or maybe on roads. What's your thought on that? 
Of course, those are the issues here which I'm tackling on, as I told you. Those are the organs I started with. Ka -ka 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 can you relate those to the cost of administration and how that can change your community you want to stand with? You see, you see now, as a mayor, mm. and there is a city, there are budgets. Mm. We have to do a budget. That budget is, uh, is the one whereby at least you lobby by the, from the authority that this is the area should be worked on. There's a program. When programs are drawn, and the budget is there. You know, the, the money is there in the government. The government has the money. Mm. But how do you get it from the, from the government? How do you get the money from mm. the government to come and work for the people? Mm. That's why 2021, we are changing governments. We are getting a new government. Mm. Yeah, I know we, in our new government, after moving from the older generation to a new generation, a younger generation, I know everything is going to be okay. Because Mawula. we are getting a new government next year. M Mawula, mm. yes, I, I, I still want to go back to my question. The yes, cost please. of administration in relation to health, um, health care, the roads and education, can we try to draw a pattern that can actually be directly proportional that it can achieve both ends? I understand the government has the money and I understand it's all about the lobbying and the skills and the strategies on how to get the money from the government mm. to bring this to the ground. How are we achieving that? You as a leader who is coming in. Yeah, as I've told you, the, in my manifesto, which has been drawn, those sectors, the health, education, sectors are looked into and the budgets are going to be there mm. so that they are catered for mm. within the division. Mm. As long as the money, we, we, as long as we are getting a new government, as I've told you, we shall have the money to take care of our people. That's why we are fighting to start from the top, bottom. Okay. Uh, why do you think you'll be able to secure the backing of a party that is already in flux with uh, many established members leaving the party, that is the DP party? Uh, no, we are not in flux. I don't know. This is uh, news. But our president and uh, party officials mm. working out a formula of how DP can work with a uh, national unity platform. Mm. There's a formula they're working out. Mm. How these parties can come back. Because all of us, our target as opposition is change. Mm -hmm. We want to, uh, to secure the position of the president of Uganda. Mm -hmm. Then from that, we, the rest will be all carried out. But we are working as a team. Mm. with different party organs and the block, DP block, and other organs. So that we come up with one candidate for president. If I may quote your, your president of, of your party, your, 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 your general president, uh, uh, that is Norbert Mao, a few yes, days please. ago yes, used please. an analogy of a stomach um, where a couple of things when the stomach is having turbulence there, people leaving and all that. And we saw another block of the DP block where we had the likes of Segona and Amayanja and the likes saying they're going to stand behind Bobby Wine, uh, that is with a nap. Here you are, Mawula, you're saying that they're working out modalities on working together here and there. But yet Bobby Wine stood, it's on record, and they say that if you're not with us, we're not going to stand behind you. And the DP party has said, yes, it believes in the wave of change, but Mao is a little bit skeptical about saying there is an alliance. Mawula on site here is saying they're working out modalities. Please indulge us more about that. No, uh, I think uh, the... There's a problem in, in communication within our party and uh, the way they communicate. The communication so is a problem there somewhere. Is a problem in communication. There's a problem because what I know from the uh, his excellent Robert Mao mm. and uh, Bobby Wine, Bobby Wine wants uh, change. And to so achieve this change, so Mao doesn't I, I, change, no, to, to achieve this okay. change, Mao doesn't present, change, no, the president Mao wants change also. Mm -hmm. And the, the, he wants a modality, proper modality of how the two or the other parties come up together to have this change. And that's what is going on. I'll Bobby Wine you. and Mao, they meet. I'll ask you again. Yes, please. You're standing under what party? I'm, I'm a <laughs> DP. I'm a DP. I'm a, I'm a member of... You now you see, I'm a member of what party, but of course I'm a, a people power person. People power. It's an ideology. It's a movement It's a change. movement, yes, please. Thank you. Mm. I want to understand because you said um, I, I belong to the people power, but again I belong to the DP. Yes. Please. Yet Bobby Wine said you're either with no, because people power was... Was was amalgamated with uh, with um, with with the nap the day they did that. We saw even some NRM members who used to uh, to 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 allude to the ideology of people power. They all went back to their party. Mawula, here you are on set in the morning, and you're saying you're working with DP. But again, so whose forms did you pick? I picked the two forms. You picked the two. You picked from nap and no, DP. not from nap. Mm. I picked from people power movement. Then also have the DP forms. No, no, no. no. People power is not allowed, it's not, it's not registered as a party to allow you to go into power or to be registered or to be voted. It's, it won't be on the ballot paper. It's only registered parties that are going to be on the paper. So I want to ask again, what forms did you pick? Did you pick for DP? Did you pick for NAP? Okay. 
I think uh, that's where the issue is. I picked the uh, the forms for Democratic Party, which mm. is uh, my party. Then I also you picked the forms. For, I didn't get the part right. You picked the forms. Uh, forms from Democratic Party. Democratic Party. party. Mm -hmm. Then I also picked forms for People Party. Because at that time, NAP wasn't there. there. That time we picked those Did forms. Did you go back to pick the forms? Is I, that, that confusing? There was no, it wasn't that confusing because in the beginning, there was no party. Mm. It was a movement. Mm. And that movement was going to work with all the other parties mm. in different areas of the country. Because we believe in change. What we are looking at now is change. But change when you get change, everything will be okay for the Ugandans. Mawul, That's what change that is disorganized becomes a little bit clouded. Because you pick the forms from DP, you picked forms from people power. If I am electorate and I'm one of those who is going to elect for you, don't you think I'm confused what you stand for? Besides change? No, it is not. So you can't get this. Uh, you can't get confused. You can't get confused. Because there are two things. You know, everyone, like FDC or uh, other parties, there's, uh, there is a, a ch there is what we call, we, it was a movement, power is a movement. And Where we moved on from there. Uh, so we went now, to NAP. NAP. Now NAP and uh, other parties, they are working out a formula which is going to come out very soon. You see, but it is in, in, the, in, the, in the kitchen. Would it be they right someone something. to say you're optimistic? Like you're an opportunist, you have two cards here. You have one for people power, you have one for DP. As you're watching the tide, and whatever the tide says that, okay, this is what I'm going for, you're going to run with that. No, 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 no. Because when there is a movement which you believe in, all of you, you work with the movement in within your parties. And because all of us, we are looking for one target, is change. All these parties. And uh, people, are wo people are working out formulas on mm. how this can work. Mm. All, yeah, all, they're doing all, all, all parties. Uh, like uh, over the world. And in mm. Kenya, you see people come up and, uh, you know, Kanu adds up another party. That's how ODM and this. So this is how it's it over the world. I agree. Yes, please. But the issue here is, the contention is, what party are you going to stand for? I, I, I don't want us to, co to, to confuse the electorates. Are you with the DP? Are you with the NUP? And when you say you're with the NUP, that is people power. Because it was very allocate. It was on news. It's on record. People power was taken up by NAP. And that's where they are. So you're DP, but you're wearing the, 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 the red color. Yeah, as I told you, red color is uh, a brown color and it's for change. We want a, it's a movement, people power movement. <laughs> well, it's not about that uh, red color means that it uh, should be up, but this is a color movement, a well, color for a strong movement which wants change. And well, we are working at the formula to say, oh, this is down on ground well, and you move on. From where I stand, you <laughs> have your own choice of things. But let's look at the virtual campaigns. How yeah. have the virtual campaigns or social media campaigns affected the would-be usual ground of elections, especially for people like you vying for position? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very bad kind of election. And uh, the problem is that uh, the electoral commission worked out a formula using the COVID regulations, I think. Mm -hmm. That's why the, where the issue is. But... Uh, Everybody knows that we cannot have a, a virtual campaign in Uganda or anywhere in the world. People feel knowing the person they're going to vote, seeing the person physically. Mm. You can't say can you use the media because even show media itself has issues. Mm. People don't have ATT mm. Mm. for OTT. OTT, so <laughs> o OTT, <laughs> eh? people have no OTT. Uh. <laughs> so mm. they can't buy the data. You mm. know the economy put down. Mm. People cannot afford a dollar a day. Mm. So how can you, a person can afford a dollar shilling, a, a dollar a day? How can you say that they should be able to buy the data, then OTT, and put that on the phone to know who is uh, campaigning? Also, this uh, TV, watching TV, mm. people can't buy your car. Mm. People are down. So what this could be your virtue, ideal situation virtue. Of, such a, of such a time when we're, when we're dealing with a pandemic, but still we have to, to run the campaigns? What could be your ideal approach to this? No, our ideal approach would uh, be that they open up. We do the campaign as it used to be, mm. but following the laws under the COVID regulations. Mm. Yeah, that's our, they should open up. Okay. We cannot do virtual campaigns because that means they're blocking the opposition from the campaign. And if by the NRM guys are busy moving around the country. You're not moving? We are not moving. Mm. We're not doing the, because remember, they were even uh, uh, his excess, Ruby Wine had a meeting in Wakiso mm. and the Dr. Kiza of SG, mm. the police came in. Mm. But other organs of different uh, sectors of government, mm. these officials, the uh, campaign for NRM, card, uh, NRM campaigns, they are busy moving on the, within the communities mm. and they're not being uh, stopped by the police. Mm. So it's, there's no equality in between the two. The, the grounds are not leveled. The, the grounds are not leveled at mm. all. That's when we come and say we cannot have such elections and, we are, and that's why the, the prince brings us to the knees mm. to beg that it should open up.
Mm. And then we protect ourselves from these COVID and issues and, and follow the regulations which are followed for COVID-19. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mawula Zake uh, Mwera. You're coming for Lubaga? Yes, I'm coming for Lubaga mayorship mm. uh, in 2021. And I do pray that the poor of Lubaga, our mission is one, mm. we want to develop our, our division. Well, there you have it. He says uh, the need is to develop the division. Well, we're joined by my colleague, uh, Stephen Mbite, who is on the other side of the television. And um, he's going to have a very, quite an incredible conversation there. But be sure to be a part of this conversation. It's online on Twitter and Facebook. This is Morning at 10 TV Mbite. If you could take it away.